Well, a bunch of the pads came in for the, I think that's the transmission in the bottom box. This box was pretty heavy, so I opened it up and uh, took out the flywheel and the clutch assembly so I could actually carry it. I had a tough job carrying that damn uh, transmission. So this is what else we got, huh? Let's see. What is this? This is a, uh, oh, the cross member. All right, put that there. This. This is uh, a clutch fork. Oh yeah, we're gonna need one of those. Uh, maybe I should have my glasses on. I could tell what these things were. This one is a clutch lever cover, or lever, if you want to call it that. Bolts for the flywheel. Uh, let's see, what does that say? Pressure plate bolt and, I think it's and dowel pins. Uh, okay, we've got speedometer gears. I guess I gotta try different ones until I find the right one. I think there's supposed to be three of them. I don't see the third one. Uh, this box contains the drive shaft slip yoke that goes into the back of the transmission and the front of the um, drive shaft which isn't here by the way that's another piece that's supposed to be coming uh, this box contains made in china uh, some kind of amount let me take a look at what that is Oh, that's the transmission mount. Okay. And this last box, let me put this down. And this is the, uh, the starter. Um, it's special. I talk starter that use the headers so it doesn't have to turn up. Get it out of here. There you go. See, it's much smaller than a stock uh, starter motor. So it doesn't uh, get so close to the exhaust. So that's a nice thing to have. Uh, is this thing quite in the right direction? Probably not. All right, so this Ah, uh, there's the other speedo gear. That box is done. Now, uh, let's see. What's this one? <laughs> Not too heavy. Got a list of uh, contents on it.
นะฮะopen it up and see what's in there. I got a feeling it's a uh, transmission. Ta-da! Yep. There it is. Transmission, and I believe it's sticking out. Yeah, sticking out the front of the box. It must have got slammed around some on the truck. You can see I'm gonna have another trip to the dump with all this cardboard. So there's my tranny. It's a nice looking one, T5, and it's heavy. I threw my back out unloading the thing. Uh, Okay, but I can't start putting it together yet because uh, this, where is it? Here we go. Separate a plate. Uh, this one's from the automatic. I don't have the one that goes with the standard transmission. It's, uh, it covers the whole bottom so it protects the clutch from road debris and whatnot. The automatic one, you have to be able to tighten the bolts through that space. So. That's it. I got all kinds of stuff, but not enough. Before I can start, I gotta get the plate. And that's not coming until Monday. And according to them, this was supposed to come yesterday, so I'll count on seeing the plate on Tuesday. If that's predicting Monday, they'll be off by a day. Meanwhile, the weekend is coming up. I can the dump will be open. I can get rid of all this extra cardboard. And uh, start putting this thing back together again. That'll make Lewis happy. And make me happy too. I can get my garage back. Guess I gotta shut the furnace off. Call it a day. Well, this is the uh, kit to put the uh, Tremec T5 in the 67 Mustang. I've got a parts list. I'm gonna take inventory and make sure I've got everything. Uh, start with this first one, the transmission mount. That's it right there. So we'll check that off. Next one is a cable clutch conversion kit. That's this right here. So that's checked off. Next is the uh, bell housing clutch fork cover. That would be this item here. Okay, so we'll check that off. Uh, okay, here's where I ran into a problem. Uh, T5 conversion drive shaft. I didn't get that. I think it's still on the truck. I'll put a question mark there. Uh, next is... Uh, special stage one clutch kit i would imagine it's this one here is a clutch kit so we'll check that off uh next is uh manual transmission clutch and it doesn't say what else but i think this is it it's a clutch arm so we'll check that off as being here. Clutch fork, whatever they call it. Anyway, 
Next is a. Uh, uh, oh. It's a, a drive shaft slip yoke. I think it's. Ah, uh, here it is. It uh, slides into the back of the transmission and gets hooked up with universal joints. So we got that. Uh, next was the modern driveline T5 transmission mount, uh, cross member rather, that would be this piece. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of offset, whereas the uh, stock one comes straight across. So that sets the uh, transmission mount back an inch or so, or maybe two inches. So we'll check that off. Next flywheel. That's it there. The box got kind of damaged in transit. I don't think the teeth have busted off. We'll have to take that out and check. But that's here. Uh, 20 tooth speedometer gear, 18 tooth speedometer gear. Well, there's three speedometer gears. 20 to 18. We'll check off two of those. And uh, down here is a 30, 23 tooth speed up gear. All right, uh, next is the T5 shift lever. That's this piece here, that's pretty. That's all chrome plated. We'll check that off. Uh, flywheel bolt kit. Well, what do you know? There's one. Check that off. Uh, what's this other one here? The pressure plate bolt and pins. Uh, oh, that's these. There's some pins in there to line things up, and then there's a bunch of bolts. Those in that box. And we get down to back ordered. Uh, black five-speed knob. Okay, that's back ordered. We'll check it here. Also back ordered, five-speed conversion separator plate. A separator plate. Uh, this one. This is the one for the automatic. The uh, one for the standard transmission. There's a little difference. Got more on the bottom there. It, uh, there's a separate plate that goes with the automatic so you can tighten up the torque converter bolts. That's what this one is, but that's the back ordered one isn't here. Um, T5 bell housing. Well, there's that right here. Uh, nice aluminum bell housing. Uh, I think I skipped something somewhere. T5 super duper transmission, that'd be this thing in the box. But there's something missing here. And it, uh, this piece, it's the, uh, ball and the bolts that this thing pivots on. See that ball right there goes in here. And uh, I don't see it here. Did I skip over something or did I check something I shouldn't have? It'll turn up. Uh, Speedo gear, billet steel, flywheel, modern drive line, line. Oh, right here I missed the mini starter. Let me check that off because that's right here. See, it's much smaller than the regular Ford starter. And oh, that's the clutch kit. Not the clutch. The clutch is separate in that package there. This is the clutch kit, I guess. 
So that takes care of everything, except for the drive shaft. So I gotta go home, go in the house, make a phone call, and get after those people at CJ Pony Parts. Actually, I think the problem was with FedEx. I think it was on the truck, but the guy missed it. Or oh, they forgot to put it on the truck because it was probably a separate package because all these other boxes were all separate packages. So there's my pedal assembly hanging on the wall. I got three pedals. Uh, <laughs> the uh, power brake pedal has to go. We're gonna have to put those other two back in, I guess. All right, anyway, I wanna thank everybody that subscribed to my channel. Um, I appreciate it, I'm up over 100 now. So I'm gonna go celebrate with a beer, maybe a shot of tequila and uh, when the drive shaft gets here and the separator plate, then we can start putting this together and burn some rubber. Over and out.